This help video quickly addresses how you buy codes uh, at the website interface. Anyone who's following or reading our content often wants to have access uh, to the matrix or to read some reviews or uh, track individual uh, reports, which are much more specific and detailed content. We're going to talk about how you go buy codes uh, to, to get that information at least quickly. You can get it, uh, click this icon or this link or this this uh, button on the uh, top bar or the reports, the buy codes or the reports, either one is going to bring you to the buy codes or the codes order form. Uh, you can click this or you can slide it down. You click this link and it'll drop you right here. You have four choices and we're going to go each through each one of these points. You can see that the first pull down menu, which is one, and it talks about it here all in written format, has uh, two different, uh, different types of nomenclature. A is for the access code plus 0R, which means zero reports, or this particular option will buy one report for $250. So what you would have to do in the second column is decide whether or not you want the access code in this purchase. If you say yes, it's going to default to this and you're buying the access code, which is just A and zero reports. If you say no, then you're buying one report and you're ignoring the access code. So that's why it's saying purchase purchase an access code, do you want to do that? Yes or no? If if this is the selection and it goes all the way down, let's pull it down, A plus four is you're buying, if you select yes for purchasing an access code, you're getting the access code plus uh, four report codes, which you have to select, or you're buying five reports. So after you make a decision here, whether you which one you're going to take, this will take this option right here, and this one will take the section option for five reports, but you'd have to say no. So let's assume we're going to buy the access code with this. You have to put your confirmation email right here, and you have to be careful about how you spell it, and it's case sensitive. So be, be mindful of that. Type it in exactly where you want the codes to send, because you're going to tell the computer where it's going to go. And be aware that all the codes might be intercepted by your email uh, junk filters or spam filters. The last part of it, which is four, is you have to confirm the report names. All the reports that are active are located here. You can go to the active uh, report page by either clicking this link or going up here and clicking reports. I'll just say we click this link right here. It'll open up a second window. This shows all the reports that are active. It shows the published dates, the expiration dates, and the up the latest update. Some of these are the old ones. Everything starting from which has this yellow highlight. We're started new. All the new reports uh, coming forward are either going to be started at the beginning of the year or were started earlier, but they will all expire in, uh, on December 31st of 2023. And as time goes by, this uh, pull-down menu will adjust the price relative to how much time is left. Now, most reports, if they're started and up and running on January 1st, the last 12 months, but that's the maximum. They could be worth they could go last if there was a report that started halfway through the year. It will either expire at the end of the year like the, like, like the key does, or it will be specifically stated that we are going to extend this report into the next year. That might happen as we get towards this time frame, October, December, November, if something uh, some, what, in that time frame, if we want to extend a report that carries over and we want to give a couple months free for everyone who subscribes to that early. But that is the whole plan. It's supposed to be a lot easier. These prices will be automatically updated in terms of the computer. As the time goes by, they will get cheaper, but they won't get significantly cheaper faster about every three months or so the price will come down and and that's really how it works so make sure that you select which one decide whether or not you want your purchase uh, do you want to purchase an access code yes or no if you say no you're going to be selecting the second hand of the or statement so it'd be, in this case would be one report or in this case it would be four reports if you said yes here you'd be getting an access code plus three reports and you have to write the report names down here Go back, select which ones are in this list that you would like to receive. You should have the codes, uh, access code and report codes within 24 hours usually. If you fail to get that, they probably have been intercepted. You can always contact us and we'll get back to you and find out and get you those codes as fast as possible. Other than that, if you have any questions, let us know. If not, thanks for uh, watching this uh, video and, uh, and keep an eye on what's uh, any other help files that are out there.